Steve, thanks so much. And as Steve just mentioned, Hermine has weakened to a tropical storm as it moves further inland. But the Big Bend area is still feeling strong downpours. CBS 4's Don Champion has the latest from the coastal town of Carabel. Hurricane Hermine pummeled parts of Florida's panhandle with heavy rain and forceful winds shortly before making landfall overnight. In the coastal community of Pasco County late last night, people tried enjoying the scene before the boardwalk was inundated with water. I hope everybody's safe and all right, but other than that, I'm here to play. This is life threatening. Earlier in the day, the state's governor warned people to take the storm seriously as her means shredded up roads and eroded beaches along the Gulf Coast. In the hard-hit town of Apalachicola, some stocked up on food. It's, it's pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah. You know, you see the trees bend in and yeah. the waves blowing up over the rocks. Others boarded up their businesses and got out. Just for the safety of our employees and um, for the safety of the business as well, we're going ahead and closing up. In low-lying areas, hundreds of residents were told to evacuate ahead of the storm. My wife wants to get some of her uh, valuables out and some stuff from her uh, mother that uh, is irreplaceable. Some still chose to ride it out. My property will likely not flood, but my neighbors all around me will. Florida had not been hit by a hurricane in over a decade. Don Champion, CBS News along the Florida Panhandle.